So question for today, is this the perfect bike? Man, the dirt is perfect today. Oh yeah, this bike isn't perfect. There's two things I don't like about it. Hey there everybody, it's Mike, the middle-aged mediocre mountain biker. Welcome back to the channel. The weather has finally turned here in Bellingham. I am out with my new Stump Jumper Evo S-Works edition. And the question for today is this, is this the perfect bike? Well, join me on this ride and let's find out. Man, the dirt is perfect today. High up one of the neighboring mountains around Bellingham. Part of what makes this such an awesome place to ride and to live. Oh, wow. Some kind of loam today. Stuff is soft. There was snow up here a couple weeks ago. So question for today, is this the perfect bike? Now, that question is only relevant for people like me who just want one bike. I want to be a one bike guy. That means I need one bike that can kind of do everything. And if you watch my channel much, you know what kind of stuff I like to ride, which is this. Steep, technical trails. Easy does it. Paying attention to this riding here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Proud of myself for that. The perfect bike for me is a bike that can do it all. It can handle Squamish. It can handle Whistler. It can handle everything around Bellingham. It climbs well. It descends well. It can handle some drops, some jumps, some tech. So is this the perfect bike? Well, I'm gonna tell you a few things I love about this bike first. Here's five things that I think make the Stumpy Evo the perfect bike for a one bike guy like me. Number one, it climbs extremely well. Like that. Now, to be fair, we've made this bike about as light as you can for a 29er. It's an S-Works carbon frame carbon wheels, even through a carbon bar on here. But more than that, it climbs extremely well. Of course, there's no lockout on the fork. Don't really need it, but I do climb locked out with the shock most of the time. And to give you an idea, this ride I'm on right now, I've done 2,800 feet of climbing which is about 600 feet more than my normal ride. And this thing climbs like a champ. Number two, how does she feel on the descent? Let me start by saying this, spike is fast. That's number two, like that. Fills me with confidence. Number three, the 160, 150 travel, I think is exactly where it needs to be for a one bike person. Of course, that depends a lot on what you ride, but for what I ride here in Bellingham and in other areas, I have zero complaints, whether I'm popping little routes like that, whether I'm going on flow trails, whether I'm doing slow tech, steep. I think this bike 
descends like a dream. Carries momentum when I want it to. I love it. Here's a little pop. Another one. All right, number three. Something small, but something very important. Frame design. Well, this is the first bike I've ever owned where I can fit a 150 mil dropper. And that's including that I've always run the one up V2 dropper, which had the shortest insertion till they came out with the V3. But none of my bikes have been able to fit more than a 120. This one, 150. And let me tell you, it makes a world of difference. Number four, the in-frame storage means on 95% of my rides, I don't need a fanny pack. Small thing, I love it. Not having any extra weight on my back. Oh yeah, this funny little drop thing. Didn't exactly do that very well, but oh well. Take today's ride, for example. 2,800 feet of climbing. I have a water bottle, a multi-tool. I have a CO2 cartridge and a valve thing. I have some cliff blocks, my car key, my little Apple wallet, my cell phone, and my GoPro, and two spare GoPro batteries. And between the storage in the bike and my pockets in my pants, I am packing zero fanny pack, zero backpack, nothing. Now I love it. Small thing, but hey. And this bike even comes with this cool water bottle, which you can also fit in there if you're going on a longer ride, you need to carry extra water. So for me, what that means is I never need my backpack. Number five. What makes this bike a one trick pony is it is fully customizable. Now, I'm not a bike geek, but there are different settings you can use to change the geometry of this bike. You could even mullet it if you want to. Josh set mine up to be, I believe, in the most slack position, and I doubt I'll ever change it. But if you wanted to, you could, without a lot of effort. What else? Well, what else makes this bike a one-trick pony for me? It doesn't really have to do with the bike, but the components. And so it's not really fair to say that, because you could put high-end components on any mountain bike, but I will tell you, the factory shock, factory fork, are amazing quad piston Shimano brakes I love, X01 shifter, it's just a GX drivetrain. I agree with Josh. The money for a high, high-end drivetrain isn't worth 5% better shifting. Shifting on this is just fine. I absolutely love the carbon wheels, the Industry 9, hubs which have super high engagement that just means as soon as you pedal forward you engage instantly there's no play little drop there this is some steep stuff here trying to creep down it there we go Carry some speed up the hill. Nice. I'm giving myself a pat on the back. That has a little double black section there. All right, before I tell you if I think this is the perfect bike, let me point out a couple things I don't like while I move this big, ugly rock out of the way. 
This bike isn't perfect. There's two things I don't like about it. Number one, see this word Maxis? It's white, not yellow. That's a big negative. Number two, see this little gap here? I mean, what's up with that? Like, come on, this one doesn't have a gap. So I can't say it's the perfect bike. And if you don't know my sarcastic sense of humor yet, well, you must be new to the channel. Thanks, Dad, for the dry sense of humor that you passed on to me. I digress. Yes, the answer is yes. This bike is perfect. There's a reason that a lot of people are riding stumpy Evos. If you're looking for a more technical review, sorry, that's not me. And if you want to know all the details on the specs on this bike, make sure you check out Josh's video right here. Thanks for watching. Let's finish this ride. Well guys, thanks so much for coming along. You know what I always say, no matter how good, bad, or mediocre you are, get out on your trail and have some fun.